No, we're smiling because we're happy. We are happy. We're friends now. So which camera are we gonna? Oh. <laughs> I was a hundred percent waiting for you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emory Watson. I work at EOD. Today I'll be working at Bio. Hey, what's up? I'm Emory hey. Wilder. Emory Watson. All right, you ready to be Bio for today? Yeah, let's do it. Got to get rid of that though. Okay, okay, okay. All right, follow me. All right, so I have everything laid out here. We're going to be doing three water samples on the buffalo over there. We're going to be doing chlorine, pH, and then back tea. We're gonna collect the back tea here, we're gonna put it on ice and then prep it back at the lab, okay? Yeah, sounds good. All right. All right. So this is our environmental lab and this is where we're going to be incubating our samples. Okay. There they are. So we're gonna take out the samples and we are going to take these little ampules with collular in them. It's basically food for the E. coli bacteria and then add them to our incubator. If they are positive, they should change color all right, so I hid a rad source in one of those training munitions, and I want you to use our Victorine to go find which one I hid it in, all right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's go. Typically, if there is like a bomb threat or anything like that, um, once EOD like kind of clears the area, Bio can either go in directly, attach a meter to it, so that way we can get readings and see if it would be a radioactive explosive device. Oh yeah, I think I found it. Oh yeah, it's jumping. Jump, 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 jump. 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 She's gonna have so much to edit Heck out. Yeah. Hi, I'm Erin Wilder. I'm with Bioenvironmental, and today I'm gonna be working with EOD. <laughs> hey, what's up, Wilder? What's up, Watson? Everybody have some fun today. Pray as I'll ever be. All right, let's get rid of that patch. All right, come on, let's go. All right. All right, so today we're gonna to do our equipment checks on robot, our pan, and our bomb suit to make sure they're functional. And then we'll go into our IED operations. We'll, our, we'll send the robot down and then our team leader will handle it if he needs to go down in the bomb suit. I knocked it off the cinder block. <laughs> um, afterwards, go check for secondaries. And after we've uh, got rid of all explosive hazards, uh, we'll be done with the operation. We'll come back here and do an incident report detailing everything we did. Uh, so what was it like to work as an EOD tech for a day? It was very humbling. The bomb suit was very humbling. <laughs> I was like falling in slow-mo, but also I could only imagine like the nerves of steel you have to have because that was like a mock and I was nervous. Every step is so meticulous and you can't miss anything. Well, it's definitely a lot of um, failing before yeah. you kind of get it right. Yeah. But like you said, it's a mental checklist. Like, yeah, you have that in your mind and kind of go through it. Yeah, but when you're nervous, it does make it a little harder for sure. So after we've done the swap, how do you feel like our jobs could correlate real world? Uh, real world? Um, so I think after we do like a mission and we save the scene of all explosive hazards, having you come out afterwards and kind of just to double check there's nothing any toxic in the air or like kind of in the area, I kind of see like, I think you said it earlier where we do our mission and then we kind of like leave and pass on to somebody else. So kind of seeing that side of like what you'll do after we're gone is kind of refreshing. And then we put it on. 